Hello everyone, today I'm gonna to be making a keto sandwich. So we got thin sliced chicken breasts. You can get just normal chicken breasts and then cut them in half. But I figured this uh, Purdue thin sliced stuff would be really good. We got a burger. We got this garlic and herb cheese spread, which I'm curious to try and I'll try it in a second. We obviously need this bacon up bacon grease. I got some real bacon bits. Don't ever use actual bacon strips. You need bacon bits. I got salt and pepper pork rinds, which I don't find uh, pork rinds that bad. I was munching on them last night. I got two eggs, two pieces of American cheese, just in case I don't like the cheese spread. And I got a mortar and pestle. So first thing, I gotta try this cheese spread here. I gotta see if it's actually any good or not. You could serve it warm or cold, I guess. I will probably, if I like it, I will probably serve it warm. I'll probably mix it up with the bacon bits on the flat grill a little bit, or not the flat grill, on the stove top, and go from there. If I don't like it, then it'll just be the American cheese. Which way do I open this thing? Ah, oh, there it is. It's hinged on the other side. Oh my God. There we go. Try a little bit of it. It's got a little too much garlic in it. Yeah, it's a little heavy on the cheddar cheese and a little too much garlic in there. Ooh, so we'll see if I do this. Anyway, first things first, I got my deep fryer on and I got one of the baskets submerged because we're going to deep fry the two pieces of chicken. We're going to bread them with the, uh, the pork rinds here, which is typical. You can use a... Uh, a blender or something like that but we're gonna do it the real way with the mortar and pestle and then I got some pots and pans ready for that too so let's get this started Oh yeah, we're gonna get a nice powder out of this. Honestly, this is much funner than the blender too. There we go, there's some, let's pour this in here. This should be good for right now. We'll see if we need to make a little bit more breading. You know what, I'll make just a tiny bit more breading. I did buy a thing of four chickens. I was planning on having somebody else uh, do this with me. But uh, that didn't work out for me. So it's just me eating this slop today. Oh yes, I forgot. I also need my favorite, the Montreal steak seasoning too. We obviously gotta season up the burger. But I don't need the keto diet because I'm obviously not that fat. But I figure I might as well go on my own carnivore diet can eat everything that doesn't have sugar or carbs in it. There we go. There, I can move this out of the way now. All right, let's break. I got two eggs. I'll see if I need the third break the egg and hopefully get a bunch of shell pieces right in my mixture. Yeah, there we go. Not exactly what I want to do, but this is all right. Get a little spoon here and we'll break this up a little bit. You know what? To be safe, I'm going to go get a third one. Hey, you know what? Fuck it. I don't need the third one. looks really nice. What piece fits on it really nice? Probably this one. Slap it in here.
We'll get this coated nice and good. Do the same thing with this one. It's sticking to my hands because my hands are full of egg mixture. Now I don't have to put any salt or pepper in these because obviously these are already salted and peppered so I'm not too worried about that. And these shouldn't take too long to cook either. Alright, let's see, does this look good? Looks good to me. I'm gonna come over to our deep fryer. Put that one in there. Put that in there. Alright, now I'm gonna get my burger started too. So this one definitely needs some seasoning. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on our flame. There we go. That should be good. Let's see, yeah, that should be perfect. Now, uh, you know what? Turn it down just ever so slightly. There we go. Oh yeah, I see them battering over there. Get our bacon grease open. And we obviously want to take a little handful of this. Get this warmed up. Perfect. I gotta open up my Montreal because I don't think it's open. Nope. So use the rest of my other one. I want these to stick together. There we go. Ah, shit. They stuck together a bit. But they're gonna cook pretty fast. Gonna cook a little faster than I anticipated it. That's all right though. Turn this down before my bacon grease starts to burn. Pour a little bit of this Montreal on here. And we'll do the other side too in a few minutes. And what I'm going to do in the last container is I'm going to heat up a little bit of these bacon bits. I shouldn't have to heat them for too long. They're pretty thin. They'll probably be done really quick too. Pull them up for right now. Mix just a tiny bit of this cheese in with the bacon. A little bit more Montreal on this. Some cheesy and garly bacon. Mm, we're getting the nice red coming out of it. But I like to see. And I'm gonna put the cheese on here. I'm gonna put a lid on top of it. We're gonna put these down for another second. Pull these up. This should be good. 
But I'm gonna take a look at it here. I could tempt fit, but I'm gonna cut it real quick. What do I got to cut it? Oop. Cut it with one of these, just make sure it's good. Oh yeah, perfect. Get that there, move this out of my way. It's gonna be dirty anyway. Put that as the bottom piece, take my burger over. Put my burger right on top of there. Add a little bit of this garlic tized bacon. Mmm, that actually smells pretty good. Put that right on top of there. Come over and we'll get our last piece. I hope I didn't stick this in the deep fryer. Oh good, I don't think I did. If I stuck that in the deep fryer, I'm gonna be very pissed at myself. All right. Just the last of this, stack that together, and there we have it. Now, I did forget to get myself some mayonnaise, so I'm gonna take a little bit of mayo over there as well. And we can use that, and we'll spread it right on top of the sandwich, which I will go take it over now. So I brought a little bit of mayonnaise over. I forgot I can put a little bit on here as well so it's not like super dry. Put just a tiny bit right on this side of the sandwich. There we go, and we'll use the rest as a side to dip it in. But I do have some parm crisps as well. Don't mind the yeast and the oil. I'm making dough here in a little bit. But we'll put some parm crisps on the side of it. I love these bad boys. And there you have it, my version of the KFC Double Down, but with a burger instead. All right, now that it's done and it looks beautiful, it smells pretty good even with the pork rinds and it should be cooked just nicely for myself. Now our keto choice of drink today is just water. Uh, I had one of those C4 uh, energy drinks there was the Starburst flavor, but I drank it the other day. That was actually really good. I recommend those. But I'm ready to try this. Ugh. How do I eat? Can I eat this burger like an apple with one hand? Oh, it's so nice and greasy. It's good, but I overcooked the chicken just a little bit, and that big bite here got me. Let me take a smaller bit of a bite. Mm, that's better. That bottom piece here is a little overdone. The bacon bits are kind of whatever for me, but if I don't take such big bites, it's actually pretty good. Besides that first bite being a little awkward, and you can see how greasy it is too. That's when you know it's really good when it's super greasy. The burger, I probably could have bit, went a little bit lighter, but I let it sit for a couple minutes too. But uh, honestly, pretty good. The pork rinds work well with the chicken. And it's not as obnoxious as I thought it would be. All right, so I ate a majority of it. I obviously left some of the burger there. I'm not a big fan of the bacon bits on the burger. The chicken was uh, quite dry, I guess is the way to put it. Like it's not thoroughly cooked, but it's a little rough in some areas. So it's hard to, hard to eat it. But I mean, it's fine. But I had to go get some pickles to put on it. Now we got these really good ones. And this helped it a lot too. And so did the mayonnaise, but definitely no using parm crisp on the side of this it's not too good but honestly i do like it besides taking a couple too many bites you could see i uh, had some stuff go on the napkin there but honestly just my stomach's really weird so stuff like this is good just not what i was expecting but yeah i'd rate it probably an eight out of ten 
Now since I made a little bit of a mess in the deep fryer here, I'm gonna try and skim out some of this shit. It's all in the corner, of course. Try and get it before it all falls to the bottom, which is not gonna work out for me, is it? Whatever, I'll come back later and try and get a bunch more of it. Got some anyway. Hello everyone, now today we're gonna be trying this Flip Whip Creamy Ranch and Blue Cheese. It's keto friendly and gluten free, so I might make a keto recipe out of it, see if Jack has anything I can uh, add blue cheese or ranch to. Now you see the date is 11-14, and I think today's the 16th. It's either the 15th or the 16th, I can't remember. Uh, but there is a thing on it where uh, it can last up to four weeks if you store it at 40 degrees, so that'll be great for me. So it's only been a couple days, we should be all right. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trick all the employees into trying this. So uh, the one out there, I'm gonna trick now into the blue cheese. He likes blue cheese, but he only likes the, uh, he doesn't like the chunks of blue cheese. So we got Ken's blue cheese and Ken's ranch. So we had the good uh, Ken's buttermilk ranch and then we had the chunky blue cheese kind, which is really, really good. I like this stuff too. So I'm gonna trick him into trying this real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna trick you into trying this real quick. He's got a beautiful buffalo chicken sub with the blue cheese on it. He's already mad, but uh, we'll, we'll get a little bit real quick. Let's see if I can open it up. Got like 10 seconds here. A little bit on your finger on your sub. Put some on sub. You got a little bit right on the sub there, so he's gonna try it out. He's gonna let me know how it tastes. <laughs> the look on his face says he kind of likes it. Yeah, actually, not bad. It's pretty good for mm -hmm. keto friendly stuff. Mm -hmm. Looks good with the chicken tender on there too. I'm actually surprised it comes out in a whipped cream flavor though. Yeah, it's not that bad actually. My mother's gonna try out the blue <laughs> cheese one. Oh, it comes out kind of thick. Yeah, it comes Get out that. nice looking. How's it taste? Actually, it's pretty good. Is it? it? Tastes like rope for with a little bit of um whip with a uh, heavy cream. There's really? no sugar in the heavy cream, so it makes the whip. I'm gonna have to try that out though. No. <laughs> so I'm holding no. I'm holding her food hostage until she tries a little bit of this creamy. I don't ranch. even like ranch. Alright, what about the blue cheese? Shake it a little bit, make sure the lid's on it really good. This is gonna be gross. Go ahead and give it a try. Blue cheese on this? No, don't, don't put it on it. Just put it on your finger and have a little piece of it. Come on, Jess. Don't be so oh, I'm going to gag. This is going to be <laughs> disgusting. I hope you have the garbage can. <laughs> there ah. you go. <laughs> so we got everybody to try it. Uh, just the blue cheese. Uh, obviously, you saw Justin like the blue cheese very much. So I'm going to give it a try. If I can fucking do it. It's definitely... It tastes like a bit of salty butter. It's not bad. I don't think I would use a lot of it, though. Let me try the ranch. Nobody's tried the ranch yet, so let me see if I can get this off. Put a little bit on my finger here. Mm, that's actually pretty good. That ranch is actually really good. Let me do a little. Ah, see if I can get. Come on. Yeah, honestly, I'd recommend these. These are actually really good. 
I'm impressed. I really like the flavor of this ranch. It's uh, a weird texture that it's, you know, it tastes like whipped cream. Like it's a really whipped texture, but man, that is really, really good. 